Welcome back to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Hey there, in this video, we're diving into the details of how to inspect a stuck gas pedal. A stuck gas pedal can be dangerous, but with our step-by-step -step guide, you'll be able to handle it with confidence. Let's jump right in. Electronic Component Inspection In modern cars, electronic components play a significant role in throttle control. Here's how to inspect these parts. 1. Check the throttle position sensor, TPS. The TPS sends information to the car's computer about the pedal position. Use a multimeter to check if it's working correctly. A faulty TPS can cause the pedal to stick. 2. Inspect the electronic control unit, AQ. The AQ manages throttle control. If it's malfunctioning, it might not respond correctly to pedal inputs. Scanning the AQ for error codes can reveal problems. 3. Look at the wiring. Inspect the wiring connected to the throttle system. Loose or damaged wires can cause erratic behavior. Ensure all connections are secure. 4. Throttle body inspection. Modern cars often use an electronic throttle body. Check for any signs of electrical problems or contamination that might be causing the pedal to stick. By following these steps, you can diagnose and fix issues with both mechanical and electronic components, ensuring your gas pedal works smoothly and safely. Inspecting for electrical problems can be complex, so don't hesitate to seek professional help if needed. Through visual inspection, checking for mechanical issues, and examining electronic components, you can identify the cause of a stuck gas pedal and take the right actions to fix it. This thorough approach helps ensure your vehicle's safety and performance on the road. Preventive measures to avoid a stuck gas pedal. Prevention is always better than cure, especially when it comes to your car's gas pedal. Here are some practical steps to ensure it never gets stuck, keeping you and your passengers safe on the road. Regular maintenance. Regular maintenance is the backbone of a well-functioning vehicle. By staying on top of your car's health, you can avoid a host of problems, including a stuck gas pedal. Routine checkups. Schedule regular inspections with a trusted mechanic. They can spot worn out parts before they become a problem. Fluid levels. Ensure all fluids are at the proper levels, especially brake fluid and engine oil. Low fluid levels can lead to malfunctions in various systems, including the throttle. Timely repairs. Don't ignore the warning signs. If your pedal feels sticky or hard to press, get it checked out immediately. Preventive maintenance isn't just about avoiding a stuck gas pedal, it's about keeping your car in peak condition. Keeping the footwell area clear. The area around your gas pedal should always be clean and free of clutter. Debris and loose items can easily obstruct pedal movement. Remove loose items. Before driving, check that there are no bottles, toys, or other objects that could roll into the footwell area. Secure floor mats. Make sure your floor mats are properly secured. Mats that slide around can get under the pedals, causing them to stick. Regular cleaning. Make it a habit to clean the footwell area regularly. Vacuum out dirt and small debris that might accumulate over time. By keeping the footwell area clear, you minimize the risk of obstructions that could lead to a stuck gas pedal. Proper lubrication. Proper lubrication is key to ensuring the smooth operation of your car's gas pedal. Without it, parts can become stiff and unresponsive. Throttle cable. If your vehicle uses a throttle cable, make sure it's well lubricated. A dry cable can cause the pedal to get stuck. Linkage and springs. Lubricate the linkage and return springs connected to the throttle. This ensures they move smoothly and return the pedal to its idle position effortlessly. Pedal assembly. Don't forget to lubricate the pedal assembly itself. A little grease can go a long way in preventing stickiness. Regular lubrication keeps everything moving smoothly reducing the likelihood of a stuck gas pedal. These simple preventive measures can help you avoid the stress and danger of a stuck gas pedal. Regular maintenance, keeping the footwell area clear, and proper lubrication can make all the difference. Professional help and repair. Sometimes, inspecting your gas pedal yourself isn't enough. That's when you need a professional. A mechanic can diagnose and repair issues you might miss. So, when should you call in the experts? And what happens during a professional inspection? Let's break it down. When to contact a mechanic. There are certain situations where you should definitely seek a mechanic's help. Here's when you need that professional touch. Persistent issue. If the gas pedal keeps sticking, even after your attempts to fix it, it's time to call a mechanic. 
Inconsistent speed. When the car speeds up or slows down without you pressing the gas pedal, a professional should inspect it. Visible damage. If you notice damage to the pedal, cable, or any related part, a mechanic can assess the best way to repair or replace it. Warning lights. If your dashboard shows warning lights related to the throttle, it's crucial to get it checked by a professional. Unusual noises. Creaking or squeaking sounds when you press the pedal can indicate a deeper mechanical issue. Recall notices. If your car model has a recall for throttle issues, go to a dealership or trusted mechanic immediately. What to expect during a professional inspection? If you've decided to take your car to a mechanic, you might wonder what they'll do. Here's an overview. 1. Initial assessment. The mechanic will start with an initial assessment, asking about the symptoms you've noticed and any recent incidents. They'll also check for any warning lights or error codes. 2. Visual inspection. The next step is a thorough visual inspection. They'll look for any obvious signs of wear, damage, or obstructions in the pedal assembly and throttle system. 3. Throttle cable and linkage check. For cars with a throttle cable, the mechanic will inspect it for wear and proper tension. They'll also check the linkage for smooth operation and any signs of damage. 4. Electronic diagnostics. Modern cars often have electronic throttle systems. The mechanic will use diagnostic tools to check the throttle position sensor, TPS, electronic control unit, AQ, and other related electronic components for faults. 5. Mechanical testing. The mechanic may manually test the throttle return springs and other mechanical parts to ensure they're functioning correctly. This involves checking for proper tension and ensuring parts move as they should. 6. Lubrication and fine tuning. If lack of lubrication is the issue, the mechanic will apply the appropriate lubricants to moving parts. They'll also make any necessary adjustments to the pedal assembly for smooth operation. 7. Test drive. Finally, the mechanic will likely take your car for a test drive. This helps them ensure that the problem is fixed and the gas pedal operates correctly under real driving conditions. Understanding when to call a mechanic and what to expect during a professional inspection ensures your car remains safe and reliable. So if you're in doubt, don't hesitate to seek expert help. Addressing a stuck gas pedal is crucial for your safety and the safety of others on the road. This guide covered the symptoms and causes of a stuck gas pedal, immediate actions to take, inspection and diagnosis steps, preventive measures, and when to get professional help. Regular maintenance, keeping the footwell clear, and proper lubrication can prevent many issues. Don't ignore warning signs. Act promptly to ensure your vehicle operates smoothly and safely. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this and to help us grow the channel. Thank you for watching.